This video shows the surgical cleaning of an inflammatory focus in a patient with the clinical diagnosis migraine, atypical facial pain, chronic headache, and facial pain. The X-ray image, an OPG on the left, shows no suspicious bone structures in the area of 4-8 marked in red. The X-ray image on the right shows the area 4-8 in the DVT cross-section. Again, no clear inflammatory process or osteolytic structure. A bone density measurement with the Cavitao device clarifies the question of an inflammatory process that is worthy of surgery and that triggers neuralgia in 4-8. The Cavitao result at the bottom of the picture. Healthy tooth 4-6 in green for healthy alveolar bone. In contrast, areas at 4-7, 4-8 and 4-9 in red showed reduced bone density with suspected fatty degenerative osteolysis in the jawbone, an FDOJ. This is the indication for surgical intervention in the video. The video begins with the mucosal flap already opened and the bone window marked. After lifting the cortical lid, the sharp correct shows the softened bone structure in the 4-8 area. Softened bone samples are checked for rance content in the laboratory. Repeated grasping with a sharp spoon removes fatty degenerative FDOJ tissue. A similar sample is submitted for histiological examination. A step-by-step -step cautious approach is understood in order to avoid damaging the nerve. The treatment of the wound with the PRGF storage and with primary suture closure is not shown here. This is followed by a laboratory analysis of the FDOJ sample for local RANS expression, which confirms the chronic inflammation at 48 with 1,025 pgml and an approximately eightfold overexpression of RANS compared to healthy jawbones 48 and 49 showed a massive chronic FDOJ inflammatory focus. Scientific studies showed the extent to which chronic RANS expression has had an impact on facial pain. We call FDOJ connected to facial pain then neuralgia-induced osteonecrosis, a NECO. The four volumes of the series, cavity-forming osteolysis, osteonecrosis in the jawbone, describe both the scope and the overall importance of the inflammation shown in the video for overall human health.